Hi, I'm Ashley. This is Life Beyond Locks, and today I am looking at a synthetic topper from Amore, Amori, and I'm pretty excited about it because if you've been with me since the beginning, I was a topper girl to start four years ago. I purchased my first topper and I haven't looked back. The world of alternative hair just became my everyday. And Synthetic toppers are actually something that are very new to me. I only recently dipped my toe into the waters of synthetic toppers because that's what you were asking for. I was getting so many direct messages about what my favorite brands were, my favorite synthetic toppers, which ones had this density, which one had that density, and honestly, I had no feedback. And I realized that there's actually a short of inf information I feel out there right now about synthetic toppers. So uh, when the company asked me to take a look at this brand new piece that is launching this week. I of course said, yes, I'm so excited to try it out and see what it's all about. So you're getting a first look at this just with me. It's a brand new style. It's model number 773 long top mono. It has the color marble brown for me. That's the one that I have. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tried it on. To be honest, I don't even know if it's a straight style or a wavy style or what. So I kind of, my hair was curly um, because I just left it when I go to the shower and I took a flat iron to it. So it doesn't look its best, but we're going to see how this topper does with it. And if I need to style my bio hair, then I will, obviously. Look at the packaging. So beautiful. I just love neutrals. My whole house is neutral. My clothes are neutral. So I love a neutral box. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I, I honestly don't know what to expect. Okay, the packaging is really, really good. They actually have little teeth in this holder to ensure that shif shifting doesn't happen um, in transport, it looks like. Oops, which is great. My hairnet is stuck on one of the clips. Okay, sorry, I know you're probably wondering what's going on because you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just removing all the tags and anything that'll sort of impede my ability to show you the piece fully. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so the color I said was marble brown. It looks to be a medium brown, medium to light brown, which I'm a medium brown. So you can see that there are pieces in there that are a little bit darker than the highlights with loads of highlighting that is caramel colored for sure. The length on this, I don't actually have currently. So I can't speak to the length, but we're gonna see how it looks on my hair. I'm five foot three almost to give you an idea of sort of, you know, my hair hits here and that's my height. So it kind of gives you an idea of how long my hair is. I'll give you the actual specs though when I have them. So just make sure you check the caption uh, to find out that information. So what do I notice right off the bat? Okay, first of all, I don't believe this is heat friendly synthetic. So the style that we have is the style that we're gonna keep. And quite honestly, it's just a nice, easy, straight with layers. I mean, it's actually exactly how I would have worn my bio hair uh, before it became really thin. It's kind of like a Jennifer Aniston look because we have these shorter layers in the front, but I'll get to putting it on. We have a monofilament top that is quite wide. I would say that that's about I'm looking down at my floorboards <laughs> for comparison. I'm gonna say this is at least four inches, probably more like four and a half inches wide. So that's gonna give you some substantial parting ability. We can either go with the center or the left or the right here. Um, and it goes quite far back. So you're gonna have a very realistic looking scalp, which is excellent. There is a piece of silicone right here to help grip, which I also love. Um, and it kind of has that closed lace. So you're not going to have lace that's going to sit on your forehead that you glue down. This one's going to either sit just behind your hairline or right at the hairline, depending on your personal preference. We have open wefting around the edges and clips. These are good clips. They're um, not too aggressive. And we have one, two, three, four, five clips around the perimeter, which is nice because you probably won't use all of them. So you can clip in like one or two clips this day and one or two clips that day and kind of rotate if you're worried about traction alopecia, though. Personally, I haven't experienced it, and I think it really comes down to one, are the clips good clips? And then two, what's your technique for putting on the clips? If you're gentle, they shouldn't cause any traction alopecia for you. Um, okay, let's put it on and see how she looks. So she does have a slight zigzag part. It's not actually very aggressive. 
I am going to break it up though right now just um, to make life easier. And to do that, I know a lot of people comb forward, but I find it easier if you just comb back and then part. But in order to do this effectively right now, I'm actually going to go ahead. It's parting pretty easily, actually. It's parting very easily. I'll show you what I mean. Like I just split it and it just, it just did it really easily, but I'm going to grab some water and spritz it just so that we can get that part really, really nice. Okay. So I'm going to start with a center part, um, because that's what it comes with. And then you just see, I'm spritzing a little bit of water. And then once we have it on, I'll take it off and show you a side part so that you can see it with both the center and the side. I am partial to side parts with toppers in most cases. I recently changed my perspective on that after trying a middle part. I really, really liked it, but on the whole, I do feel like the center parts um, can look more wiggy if you don't have a strong hairline. And as you can see, I have, I mean, it looks weaker because this is actually white hair, but on this side, I don't have as much white hair and you can still see that I have a really weak hairline. So, I mean, I can blend, I can use hair fibers, I can use eyeshadows, root sprays, etc. But I really love to just clip on and go in the morning. I just find mornings so crazy, so hectic because my kids' school starts so early in the morning um, and, you know, trying to get everything done. It's just, I want something that's grab and go. So for me, a side part conceals all of this front hairline and it means I don't even need to blend. But if you have a little bit more time on your hands, if you're looking to go to an event, if you have a stronger hairline, then blending's not a big deal. So there are two ways to wear this. One, as I said, is behind the hairline. So if you have a lot of hair, you can put this a little bit behind your own hair and then you can kind of like, <laughs> I can't do it because I don't have enough, but you can kind of like tussle your own hair and flip it over the topper. Um, and that's what's so great about a closed lace topper like this one is that it's super lightweight. And so you can just like, you can't feel it on your head. Honestly, it, it feels weightless. And then you can just flip your hair over it and you're good to go. And it'll just give you that fullness that you've always wanted. That's the ideal way to wear a topper. Like that is in a perfect world, you just have minimal thin thinning and you're looking for that oomph and you just sit it right behind your hairline and then you pull the hair over. Can you still do this with a hairline like mine? Yes. But then you're going to have to take a little bit of root powder. Obviously make sure your hair matches the topper. A little bit of root powder, a little bit of root spray, some hair fibers and build up that area first and then you can still pull it off. Now, I'm realizing I have a line here from the hat wig and the hat that I was wearing this morning <laughs> hasn't gone away yet. Um, but I feel like my hairline is receding a bit. And so I also feel like my forehead is a little bit big compared to what it used to be. So I'm, I'm keen to put it right in front of my hairline. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to go all the way up to here ish. Yeah, that looks about good and start clipping in. Okay, I don't know the weight of this piece. As I said, I don't have the specs, but this is a really nice light topper. It does not feel heavy in any way. And coming from a world of synthetic toppers, I mean, that was what I wore, not synthetic, sorry, silk top toppers, which is what I wore for years. I feel like I missed out on how comfortable topper wearing can be. Um, by not trying synthetics, not trying monofilament synthetic toppers like this one. Okay, so you can see I'm wearing it right to the front. And quite honestly, unless someone is up in your face, they're probably not going to notice that this is not your natural hair um, or your natural hairline. It's just not that, okay, it kind of wants to go this way, so I'm going to let it go this way. It's just not that detectable especially because this style, this one hair, really, which way do you want to go? Commit for now, just so that we can have a nice uniform look. There's always one. All right, here we go. So what was I saying? Yes, this, where's my water bottle? We need to make this one work for us. Work for us. Come on. Okay, I'm taking it off and starting again. See, this is, I could hit pause. I could edit this out. 
I won't edit it out. I'm gonna let you see what happens sometimes. It's hair, I mean, it's gonna have a bit of a personality. It's gonna have a bit of a mind of what it wants to do. Uh, and you're gonna work it and you don't need to quit on it. You just need to be patient, grab a brush, and uh, be a little bit persistent. So it's that couple of little strands of hair there. They just wanna go that way. So I'm gonna add extra water. I'm gonna go in and really comb it now in the direction that I want those hairs to go. And hold it with my fingers a little bit. Okay, let's hope that worked. Let's see. Am I center? Oh, look what I did. See, I, I didn't even realize. I created a deep side part. <laughs> and I said we were going to look at how it looks centered first, but we're not. We're going to look at what it looks like on the side first because that's what I inadvertently did. See, I'm such a side part girl that I create it without even trying. I'll do middle part last then. Well, now you're going to get to see what I'm talking about, though, about how, how seamless the blend can be when you go with a side part. Now, the hair is obviously a little bit wet. It's going to dry quickly because it is synthetic hair, which is the beauty of synthetic hair. So if you get caught out in the rain, today's a rainy day here uh, in Canada. And if I um, let this air dry, it won't take long at all, but it's going to return to the original shape that it had, which is so nice because bio hair doesn't do that. And if you're like me and you have wavy or curly bio hair, a rainy day can just totally derail your look but with a topper you don't need to worry so it looks a little stringy right now but that's just because it's wet um, but yes what I was saying earlier before the whole piece that wanted to do what it wanted to do happened uh, is I was talking about the cut the style so this one has these long curtain bang pieces and I do feel like they are an asset when it comes to the blend um, if you have really long straight pieces or yeah, especially when they're straight, really long straight pieces in a topper, it's really a lot more ideal most of the time, unless there's enough volume at the front to blend it with your own bio hair, because otherwise it can look wiggy depending on the cut, depending on the piece itself. So having a curtain bang kind of distracts the eye. It makes you look at the style overall rather than go straight to that area of transition. And you honestly... If you saw me walking down the street, you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at this area. You know, you're not gonna be looking at it anyways, but you probably wouldn't be able to tell that I'm wearing a hair topper. So we have these long, beautiful layers, very Jennifer Aniston-esque. I'm gonna show you each side. So this is my left side because I currently have it in a left side part. This is my right side. And then the back. So I don't know, I'll only be able to tell when I watch the video if this is the right length for my bio hair or if you were able to see my bio hair underneath. Um, if you're able to see the bio hair underneath, just obviously you can go to your stylist and have them trim your bio hair to match the topper or you purchase a topper that's in the correct length. Um, it is advised that you go about an inch shorter than the topper length if you wanna have the perfect match. If you have hair that's very short and then you try to wear a long topper, depending on how much bio hair you have, you will see your own hair sticking out and that can make it a little bit more obvious. So you wanna have hair that is just under the longest layer of the topper. Now, fortunately, if you do have shorter bio hair, this piece here is gonna be a lot more forgiving because of the layers. You won't notice as much if your hair is shorter than the topper. Um, and you also wanna make sure that your hair color matches the topper. So getting something with dimension is definitely helpful because the chances of your own bio hair picking up one of the colors in that topper is a lot more likely. Um, but even still, this piece is very warm compared to my very ashy hair. And so it might be a little bit more obvious, especially at the back, if it's not super thick and doesn't give a ton of coverage, you know, you might see that there's a color difference. And then, you know, you either have to purchase one of the pieces that most matches your bio hair or go to your stylist and have them match your bio hair to your topper, which is really quite honestly, 
what I would say is the best option if you are someone who's not looking to make changes every day to the toppers that you're wearing, but really like you found that piece, maybe it's this one that you wanna wear every single day, you wanna to commit to, then just go and get your hair to match and you don't have to worry about it. In terms of coverage though, this cap, um, again, I don't have the specs, but I'm feeling like it's about a, I would say it's about an eight by eight cap, maybe not quite, but pretty darn close. It's, it's, it's a lot of coverage, but not a lot of density. So you can see it doesn't look like a ton of hair. It doesn't look super thick. It doesn't feel super heavy. The density is on the lighter side, probably like a medium kind of density. Um, and you can probably see that in the back coverage, but it does, the clip is here. So everything underneath is my own hair. And you know, I do love a bigger cap one. I think it's more comfortable. I think that it sits more flush to your head because it's clipping down further, but it also really helps to disguise your own bio hair. Um, but this one, this one gives enough coverage that if you do have a lot of thinning, as I do a progressive thinning, you're not going to be able to see it with this topper on. Um, it's not going to give you piles of hair, but it is going to give you enough to give you confidence and have you walk around feeling, you know, like you like, your hair is covered, which is so important, not only aesthetically, if that's something that obviously concerns you, but also in the summer months to avoid getting sun exposure on your scalp when your hair is so thin. So it's gonna really meet a lot of needs, especially going into those summer months. The layers are also ideal in case you do wanna wear your hair up off your neck. Um, having face framing pieces like this will allow you to use like a claw, claw clip or a low pony, or something like that without it being super obvious that you're wearing a topper, especially if the color blend is a match. Because if it matches, you won't be able to tell the color difference and you'll just assume that it's the bio hair. So hopefully that gives you a good visual of what you can do with this piece. It would be really nice by the pool, low ponytail, low bun, but lightweight enough that you're not gonna feel hot it's not going to feel heavy for you. Oh, wow. I like it right there. Let's not move. That's the perfect style, especially as it's drying. I'm really quite enjoying this piece a lot. Okay, I am going to take it off and wet it one more time, which I hesitate to do because I like it the way it is right now, but I want to show you the middle part on it. This video is getting quite long, so if you're still with me, um, thank you. Sometimes I am really uh, short and concise. <laughs> And then other days I can just ramble forever. Today is a rambling day. So um, thanks for sticking with me if you are still here. If you have any questions about this piece, by the way, because of course I'm gonna say that at the end, but if you do have any questions about this piece, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, if I don't have an answer, I'll try to find the answer because this is a very brand new style. Um, you know, there may be a lot of questions that you have as you're trying to research whether this is going to fit your needs or not. So let me help you because it's always exciting when you are among the first to try out a brand new style and um, sort of be like a, you know, mover and a shaker in the hair world. So if that's you and you have questions, ask away and I'll try to find the answers. Okay. So I've now put in a center part. One thing that I didn't talk about, ooh, can't believe I didn't talk about this. It's in my other videos though, is the monofilament top. So you can see right now, look how scalp like that looks. Amazing, right? And that is because right now I have it sitting on my hand and my hand is the same color as my scalp. So it looks like natural scalp. And that's gonna be the case anywhere that you part this piece. If you part it on the left, if you part it on the right, it's going to look like human scalp as long as what you have is light colored underneath. So you can part your own hair exactly where you're gonna part this and that will help. Or you can put a piece of scar tape or um, something similar. You can buy it at the drugstore underneath the cap and it will keep that light color there all the time. The other thing that you can do is apply a light powder. So using, excuse me, <laughs> using a brush like this with your favorite eyeshadow, you can just put right into the part line some of your favorite powder, and that will help it to keep that appearance of natural scalp, even if you have something dark underneath it, like my very dark bio hair. Okay, we're gonna go right up to the middle now and see how she looks with the middle part, which is probably how she is intended to be worn, given that she has curtain bangs. Curtain bangs are not usually worn to the side, though of course, 
they can be. So now I've got her as she was intended. Oh, yep, yeah, this is better. This is better. I should have started this way. I'm such a fan of the side part, but like I need to let it go. I do. Because look at this. This is how she's meant to be worn. These beautiful curtain bangs are meant to be worn with the center part. Even then it's kind of off center. I don't know how I still managed to do that. I always lean to that side when it comes to parting. Always. But whatever. In the middle it's centered and yeah, that looks so flattering. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to cut this short now, finally, because I have rambled for far too long. If you have any questions about this, please drop them below or send me a DM. I will try to find the answers. Also make sure that you check out Renee of Paris and Amor, Amori because this is the week that they are doing all kinds of like releases of other pieces. This isn't the only one. So if you want to see what those new pieces are, if you want to be the first ones to wear them this summer, you need to go check them out. Um, thank you to um, uh, Amori for sending this over uh, for a review and thank you for being here. I am so excited to see what else they come out with in this launch because this is a good one for sure.